Hi, this is Cheryl Arias Wicker, and this is Christian Movie Connect. And we are at the ICVM Catalyst Conference in Orlando, Florida, and we are with Chris Rogers. Uh, Chris, are you like still the president of ICVM, or what is your position? Yep, I'm the president of ICVM, and uh, we're glad to have you here. Yeah, very good. And I met you several years ago at NRB, and you invited me to come here. And I'm so glad I did. <laughs> well, I'm glad you came. I'm glad you came. And we're in beautiful Orlando uh, this year. Last year we were in Atlanta. And I guess I met you in, you were in the St. Louis. Was that St. Louis. Yeah. yeah. So you got to see the arches and all that. And uh, we're going to be in St. Louis next year. I'm looking forward to that. That was fun. And hopefully we'll be on the Mississippi River with a nice riverboat cruise too. But last time it got flooded out. So, but we got to go up the arch and that was pretty cool. Yeah, well, you know, one of the things that I like about this conference is that it's very intimate and, um, and you, you meet some very serious-minded filmmakers, people that are really doing some good work. We really do. Um, uh, tonight we just got done with uh, hearing uh, Jerry Jenkins. He he's written 175 books. Can you imagine that? You know, for the glory of God. And then he gave a message tonight that was just awesome. You know, he challenged us with a challenge from Billy Graham. And Billy Graham wasn't putting out the challenge, he just lived this. And, and what he lived was the, the, um, a, a verse from Scripture that says, pray without ceasing. And you know, Cheryl, he prayed every day continuously without ceasing. He just made that a part of his life. He thought everybody should be doing that. Is that a big challenge or what? That's what it says in the Bible. <laughs> And, and the second challenge was that, you know, Billy Graham did not have one day in his life, not one day, he didn't skip one day, where he didn't open the Word of God and read it. And uh, Jerry Jenkins was researching for doing his autobiography, and, you know, I was undone by that. I was just totally undone by that. So that's the, uh, that's the message that we heard tonight. And I, you know, the, the challenge for us as Christians and, and us as film producers is to be that same way, to be like Jesus. You know, Jesus did everything the Father told him to do. And that's what we need to do as Christian filmmakers, to be like Jesus, do everything the Father tells us to do. And then we can do the films that he's called us to make and reach the people he wants us to reach. Well, tell me a little bit about the history of ICBM and... Um, why it was founded and, and, and some of those early days. Well, the early days, uh, you had two different kinds of groups coming together. You had Christian um, filmmakers and then you had uh, the, the libraries and, and they were two different separate groups. And they came together in, in the early 90s uh, to form ICVM because you had these film libraries that would provide films to all the churches. And then you remember Wednesday night films were real popular at, at churches and people would invite those out and they would rent those films. And that was how they made income for a lot of the film producers. They would put out their films on film and send them to churches and churches would, would run those. And these film libraries would be set up to run and send out many, many of these films to churches across the country and they were locally done so that they could get the films you know overnighted because they didn't have overnight service back then uh, but one day service so that they could get the films quickly to people um, and but then you know the VHS came on the scene and then guess what life changed uh, because all of a sudden it wasn't on a film that cost you know a few hundred dollars it was on uh, VHS which was pretty low cost and that changed everything so ICVM came about in, in 1993, um, you know, as a, as a um, or, or in the early 90s, I forget the exact year, but to, um, and it was both of these, a service, both of these two groups. And now it's kind of morphed because we've gone from film being distributed to VHS to DVD and guess what, DVD is, is, is going downhill and it's becoming uh, internet streaming now. So, um, and, and Blu-ray, you know, we, 
who, who knows what will happen, but um, it's, it's really changing. So we come together as ICVM, which is really cool, because we come together to find out these kind of things, to find out what the trends are, to find out uh, how we can make a difference. And what we, where we really want to make a difference is leading people to Christ. We don't just want to make uh, Christian movies to feed the church, but we want to have movies that do that, but also uh, convict the world, because that's what we're called to do. Uh, God has given us that great commission in Matthew 28, and it says to go into all the world, preach the gospel, and beyond that, to make disciples. So, uh, you know, it's our prayer that these movies go out and, and people see something different. They see a life. They see something change, and, 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 and they're different. You know, if you see a Superman movie, okay, that, well, that's nice, but you're not, maybe you won't change your life. But hopefully the movies that are coming out of ICVM, lives will be changed and uh, many people will come to know Christ. Okay, so, uh, and I don't know if we said, ICVM stands for International Christian Visual Media. It does. Okay. That's right. And supporting filmmakers who make great movies that will encourage people's lives. So, um, well now, you are also a film producer yourself and you have a movie that's coming out. Uh, tell us about that movie. Well, I do. It, it's called, I don't know if you can see this, it's called For the Glory. Um, and it's a true story. Um, you know, we like to do evangelism types of stories. It would be our heart and our passion because, you know, obviously we want to help fulfill Matthew 28 and going into all the world making disciples. And this is a true story about a man who comes to know Christ. Well, he was a basketball player on a Division I basketball scholarship and he gets cut from the team, which is... Um, sad, but then he tries out for soccer. He never played a day of soccer in his life. Tries out for the soccer team after three months of trying, and he makes a soccer team, which is amazing. And then he goes on to um, become All-American, goes on to become an Olympian, goes on to play professionally with Pele. But meanwhile, in the middle of this, uh, there's a romance, and meanwhile, in the middle of this, the biggest part so he gives his life totally to Jesus Christ. And he puts a cross on his shirt, of all things, because as he, as he, as he, he asks God, God, give me a sign that this is really real. And he walks out of the gym and sees this cross on, on the side of uh, the gym. And he picks up the cross, a little athletic tape, puts it on his shirt, and plays the rest of his career with a cross on his shirt through the Olympics, through... Um, professional sports through playing in American University. So even at the end of the film, we show some of the footage with him having the cross on his shirt as he's playing for Jesus Christ. Wow. Well, this uh, movie's been a long time in coming. You've been working on it for a long time, and I'm sure you're really excited to actually have it released now. I am excited. It's really excited. And, and what I'm most excited about is when people use the movie, because we, we had some showings, and we showed it to... Uh, folks and they brought non-believers with them to, to the movie theater to see it and, um, and, and our test showings and it was really neat because we had Muslims that oh yeah I really like that movie and they weren't like put off by the religious message they said well you know I know it had a religious message but I wasn't put off by it or I liked it you know because and I think people like true stories they like to see something real in somebody's life and what can be more real than coming to Christ but it's a heart thing so it's really kind of hard to show on film sometimes um, but we were able to show this through this this life story and, and it's exciting but we had I had uh, one little uh, eight-year-old girl and I was talking to her and I thought she had seen the movie and I asked her well did you see the movie she said yeah I said well, what'd you think said, I loved that movie. I said, oh, well, why did you love the movie? Well, I, I loved how he put a cross on his shirt. And you know what I did? I said, what did you do? I put a cross on my shirt, too. I went home, and my brother did, too. And here's an eight-year-old little girl saying, I want to play with a cross on my shirt. Well, as a filmmaker, I I'm fulfilled. I mean, that uh, little girl, I mean, you know, I mean, she's, she wants to do her sports for Jesus Christ. Well, what a gift to me as a film producer. So, so um, will it just be on DVD? Is it going to have a theatrical release? Or? Well, we don't know just yet. Um, we have a, a potential for a theatrical and, and in various parts of the world. We're talking to South Africa today on, on theatrical there. Um, we're, we're talking, we're in the middle of the talking, so it's in the middle of uh, 
um, all kinds of talks like that. So for sure on DVD and for sure streaming and for sure um, in other forms, we just don't know. But wherever God wants to take it, we're praying and asking the Lord, Lord, put it where you want it so that you can use it in churches, but to win people to Jesus Christ. And of course at ICDM, you're at a great place to meet That's all right. of the right people to get your film right. out there. So very good. Right. All right. Well, for people that want to hear more about the movie, find out how they can get it. What is the website? Yeah, you can go to www.forthegloriethemovie.com uh, or www.forthegloriethemovie.org uh, and find out more about the movie. And if you want to find out more about ICVM, you can go to icvm.com. Okay, easy enough. Well, yeah. thank you so much for being thank with you us. For, uh, uh, having me on all right. Christian Movie Connect. Very good. Okay. And thank you for being with us. And join us again next week on Christian Movie Connect. Thank you.